In today's video, can we continue our assault on the Romans from the south? Us also seeing what is going on with the Macedonians. Are they going to attack us? It very much looks like they are. So if they are, though, we do have horse archers ready. But stay tuned to find out, guys. And make sure you do like and subscribe or this video if you do enjoy this content. Without further ado, guys, let's get into the video. Hi, guys. Welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our RDAI campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum. And it's deja vu for me because I've already recorded... <laughs> I've already done about 20 minutes of recording without actually recording. So that was a bit dumb of me. Uh, and I did want to apologize first, guys, before we get going about the lack of content recently. I have been um, pretty ill. Um, I am still pretty ill, so if you hear a um, sort of a whirring or, or sort of a murmuring in the background, it is a fan, because although I'm cold, like, not, not that I'm cold, although it is cold, I am just sweating, like, profusely right now, so, <laughs> yeah, too much information, I'm sorry about that, guys, but yeah, no, I am pretty ill still, but we have to record, because I'm away next week, so, uh, yeah, let's go, um, we are on episode 20, so we are going to do a toggle fog of war to start with. We're also going to have a look at our ranking versus everyone else. So let's toggle the fog of war. First of all, guys, we're not really going to look at the Celtic areas. Uh, basically, the main thing is the Kimbri and the Suebi are doing pretty well. The Bell guy, not quite as good as usual because we have a resurgent a Dewey over here. The Arverni are okay, and honestly, the Allobrogues are doing very, very well. Much better than I've ever seen them do before. Massalia still does exist as well, and they're fighting the Allobrogues right now, which is kind of cool. Once again, the Britons doing nothing, uh, and the uh, Celtiberian tribes are once again just taking their own little areas uh, of the map. Carthage has done pretty darn good. They've got a decent amount in the south of Spain. They haven't quite managed to get rid of the uh, Massilii, or the Massacelii, Massacelii, uh, but honestly, doing better than a lot of games I see them in. Rome is invading um, Sardinia with two big armies, so they probably could use the armies on the mainland, because as we have a look, guys, uh, Syracuse is coming up behind us, so we have to be careful. Look at that, three full stacks ready to take on um, all of these settlements, and then when they border us, that's going to be interesting. They'll probably will attack us. So, yeah, we've got to be careful about that. But as you can see, the Romans very much not got many troops on the mainland. Not many troops. So, yeah, we're going to do okay against them. The Scordisci to our northeast are doing okay. They have expanded into rebel territory and just thought better of attacking us, which I think is a good play for them. Now, this has been very weird. It is absolute chaos in Greece and Anatolia. The history, the Histrians somehow just skipped this land, have navally invaded Pontic Pentapolis and the Gete, and just have like a nice little empire going um, over here in modern day sort of um, South Ukraine, Moldova and uh, Romania. Very nice. <laughs> I don't know. What, what else can I say? That is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, um, the Gete pretty much relegated to nothing now. Um, Pontic Pentapolis, though, is still not weak. They have taken pretty much all of um, at the actual province of Thrace. And they are coming across into uh, Pergamon, which is fair play to them. The Idrisians are kind of dying, it has to be said. Uh, Tylus is doing well, which I never see, so fair play to them. And the Tribali are doing excellent. So the Tribali versus Skordiski, probably going to be a big fight at some point. Um, and also the Paeonians are down here attacking the uh, Macedonians. Um, over here we have the Illyrians and Eperot still hanging on, clinging to life. But Macedon pretty much is the master over here. Onto the Peloponnese. Sparta has the west hand side of the Peloponnese. And... The Boeotians have Attica and the east of the Peloponnese. So, yeah, the Boeotians uh, versus the Spartans, another big battle going on. The Aetolian League is existing with a big army. I just don't think anyone can kind of get through that army right now. So they're probably going to survive for quite some time. Sparta is attacking Macedon as well, which, of course, is pretty good. Litos has been triumphant on Crete, 
which is insane. Don't normally see Litos. It's normally Kaidonia or Nosos that seem to win over there. Down in the south, we don't really need to see that. Nabataeans have just gone south. Kush has expanded and Saba's expanded a little bit. But on, on Anatolia, guys, Byzantium exists. Heraclea Pontica has uh, expanded quite a bit. Sinope is a bit stuck. Cappadocia has expanded a lot. And Paphlagonia still exists, but not in Ganga anymore. In Tueyuion, where the uh, Galatians still do exist as well. But the main sort of uh, story here is that the Ptolemies have been absolutely ruined and the Seleucids have been pushed back as well. As you can see, Pergamon is pretty darn big now. Um, Rhodes has expanded over here as well. But look at this. Selge has taken all of this coast here, which is pretty insane. And Cappadocia has expanded into uh, Seleucid lands as well. So honestly, yeah. Um, the Seleucids and Ptolemies taking big L's in Anatolia at the moment. Pontus still does exist, just in a smaller form. And Trapezus has been pushed north. Um, apart from that, really not too much to report, guys. Bosporan's doing okay. Uh, Trapezus still has Carcine over here. But yeah, not, not a huge amount to report elsewhere. So I think we'll get off that uh, Toggle Fog of War for now. This time, I actually did remember to record it, which is, of course, a good thing. We are about 100 uh, turns into the game, guys. So that is, of course, good. Uh, we control 102 regions. Pretty nice. A region a turn, basically. Uh, and let's have a look at our ranking. And if you notice the ranking here, the Romans are no longer in the top five because of what we've been doing to them. Uh, we are a little bit off the top five. Military-wise, we're always going to be lower because the AI has a load of cheats to get them loads of money. Um, production doesn't really matter. Uh, territory, though, this is where we have been going ham. This is where we've been cooking. We are nearly at the same amount of territories as the Ptolemies, guys, which is just insane. So we're on 102 there. That's just under 120. I would assume that's about 115. So we are not even far away from the Ptolemies. Uh, financial wise doesn't really matter we you know we've been investing in military a lot recently but population as well for over 400,000 now which is very nice indeed it's just a shame none of it is going to our capital <laughs> and actually expanding any of our regions because they're all just large towns still <laughs> we have so few cities it's actually ridiculous but anyway let's get going then guys um, it's been a while, so let's go for this in capital. We are just going to auto-resolve this. 54 men, not bad at all. Let's also enslave. Capua itself is a large city, which is absolutely fantastic. That should... There we go, boys. Ryzon can now expand. Very, very nice indeed. That is what we like to see. Let's repair those buildings, though. And uh, let's leave this straight away. We're going to go for Neapolis. Our next city to add to our list, which is also a city very close to a large city to this army is waiting to get uh, onto the ships to get ferried across. These guys are sort of a garrison troop. So we're going to send them up there. We're going to send this unit into Capua. We're also going to send him into Capua next turn once we've moved a few of the garrison troops. Now in the north, we are going to get together all of these sort of warriors into a test day because we do have a plenty big enough Celtic sort of detachment now to actually go and start taking some cities, which um, should be rather fun, honestly. So, yeah, nice. These guys are sort of garrison troops too. And we've, of course, got our rabble still, our glorious, glorious rabble. Um, we also are very close. One more turn away. From uh, from getting this, which is a 10 horse archer army, which we're going to combine into this army. And if the uh, Antigonids attack us, that is going to be the main army we use against them. Up in Paeonia, these guys are uh, one more turn to go before they surrender. So we're just going to allow them to surrender. No point fighting that now. Like I said, I wasn't keen on fighting the Paeonians quickly. Um, just because, of course, uh, that would have brought us into contact with the Antigonids. We are now in contact with the Antigonids, but waiting one turn is no is no delay that really uh, is unnecessary. So uh, yeah, 
I think that's everything, guys. Next turn, we'll get all the Celts together. We also do need a general. I'm thinking about this guy, but uh, I don't think we've got any... Oh, we do actually. If you go in there, we'll swap this general out. Is he a good general for fighting? Green commander, he's youthful, which is extra hit points. Doesn't have much support, and he's a social drinker. Honestly, he's got a load of lore, so yeah. But he can come and swap out with one of these boys. Maybe not a rated Darmon, but maybe this Agron can go with him. He's selfish and pessimistic, which is minus morale, so not him. How about Ketesion? Well, nine management. Well, I guess it is going to have to be you, Arata Darmon, unless Baleos over here is any good. Reliable, kind, optimistic, adult, confident commander. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be you. Phil Helenos as well. Um, so, yeah, he likes the Greeks. Um, so, he should hate the Romans. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> but anyway, let's end the turn, guys. Let's see what Macedon decides to do here. And they decided to attack. Yes. <laughs> well, Paeonia has decided to attack us here. For some reason... Like, that looks ridiculously <laughs> in our favor. I mean, actually, you know, infantry-wise, they all, all they have is a Thracian Romfire Foroy. I think we fight this, guys. I think, like, we can kill a lot of troops. We probably can't beat them, but we can kill a lot of their troops here. So let's go. Well, they do have two rams. So what we're going to do... Is we're going to wait here. I love this mix of buildings. Like the Roman, um, uh, Roman Greco style. And the, um, and the sort of barbarian style mixed together. I do love that. So, we're going to see. If this ram gets destroyed, we're going to defend the gates. If it doesn't get destroyed, we're going to, uh, retreat to the main, uh, to the main square. So, here we go. Let's see. Are they even getting shot? Uh, it looks like they escaped getting shot. So yeah, let's uh, let's let's bounce, boys. Let's bounce. And uh, yeah, we've got these uh, spearmen, which are very good. We got these guys ready to fire javis too. So yeah, these boys, the mercenary bellovation spearmen, pretty darn decent unit. I mean, well, actually, you say that not that good. Thirty-one defense is not amazing. They're not even that much better than uh, than our Northern Illyrian Levy, honestly. <laughs> but all they have is a Romfire Foroy. And remember, our guys cannot rout here. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you in a second, guys, when we get charged by the first uh, first enemy. Well, here we go, guys. They're not going to actually fire anything at us. These guys should be firing now. There we go. There we go. That's going to force them to charge. And we're just going to leave it on three times speed. Um, they do have this Thracian Hippocontisti coming around this side. But, uh... Yeah, there we go. We're already routing some of these boys. So now our guys are in the fight. Actually, I want you guys back so you can fire. There we go. Let's just slow that down a little bit. And I want you to fire. No, I want you to fire, guys. Come up. Come up. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. There we go. You should be able to fire at the Runfire 4 right? If they, if those Runfire 4 right get close... Okay, they are firing. Go, go, go. Firemen. Firemen. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Yeah, not, not much really, are they? I think the Romfire 4 are going to charge now. There we go. Fire at them. Fire at them. We're going to put them on uh, guard mode so they don't chase after the fire. No, you idiots. Honestly. Why do they do that? It's so annoying. There goes their general, though. Let's see if we can fire into the Romfire 4 right here. We've got the Thracian Hippocontisti around as flanks. So uh, we do need to be wary of that. But yeah, here we go. Let's kill the Rumfire Foroy. The rest of them, I'm not worried about. It's all just like Agrianians and stuff. If the Hippocontisti get a charge off, they might do well. But remember, we can't rout here. So, uh, yeah. I don't think this is going to be too bad. It's mainly just if we can kill the Rumfire Foroy, which we're not doing very well at at the moment. So, actually, I want you guys to fight the Hippocontisti if you can. So, turn around. Fight them. There we go. We should be able to kill most of the Hippocontisti. So even if we lose this, which it looks like we're going to, we will have killed a lot. My God, the general... The, oh, yeah, the general's retreating. So, yeah, we're not going to win this, guys, I don't think. But we will have killed a lot of men. Yeah. So we killed 267, which is half of their army. So, yeah. 
Fair play, not an amazing battle, but a decent amount of killing nonetheless. Come on, the boys. And there we go. We'll trade one city for another, and we'll take Bylazora. And Syracuse has attacked us as well, so it's all kicking off at the moment. I wonder whether we could get a ceasefire with Rome now and just focus on Syracuse. So here we go, guys. We have a lot of towns growing, but the first one that we need to focus on is Rhizon, of course. So let's uh, do that, and let's get the rest of these guys. Meteon. Okay, nice. We've got a few places. Singwidunon. Ooh. Probably going to have to put that first, seeing as they are a little bit unhappy. Altinum as well. Probably going to have to also put that first, so they don't get too unhappy. Uh, rioting in Batundum. But nah, that's okay. They're actually happy now. I think that was just a cult cultural unrest spike. And, of course, Macedon. So, Greeks. Goddamn Greeks attacking us. Um, I think we can probably take this army with our, just our horse archers. And if not, we can retreat and hardly, like, not lose any. Oh, and we had a few places also grow. Like Sarota over here. Very nice. Uh, Lorinum got that, which should allow us to build those. Let's have a look at our third tier now, because, like, um, so, yeah. Big thanks to Balbor as well. So, he commented sh saying that now we got, we got that message last time about the AOR recruitment, how we can get reform units. And as you can see, look, Greek recruitment three, we can get Thorakitai now, which actually not too bad, you know. Epidauros here. Yeah, we can get Thorakitai, who are decent. I mean, the 13 attack is good. Good morale. Missile attack. And they have swords. So, of course, that 13 attack is better than anything else that is not a sword. So, uh, oh, we have Triarii here. Let's just also resolve that again. 48 men. Honestly, I think if I did that battle, I would not be able to do less than 48 men uh, in there. So, Pharos has now expanded to... So, here's the question. What do we do now? If I go in Capua, can we get a diplomat? We can. Like I say, the, the Romans really don't have much, do they, in terms of uh, in terms of stuff. So, I th in terms of troops. So, what I think we will do is go after Syracuse. We'll knock them away. And then we'll come down here and see if we can fight the Syracusans. The Romans do have those couple of like little areas in the middle of us. That is fine. 70% there. And we'll probably just come down this way. Um, this army. This army can be the one that continues the attacks in the north. We'll get the ships across to here. You guys are going back for retraining. So you guys are going to go after that one. You're going to chill there. You're going to come down this way. So there we go. Syracuse is kind of uh, knocked back. In terms of the rest of Macedon, they're just going to attack anything, really, I think. Um, but yeah, we need to gather up our horse archer army, and then we'll be good. In fact, although that horse archer army is now decent, let's just continue getting more horse archers. I mean, what, what can go wrong with more and more horse archers? Right then, let us get a governor. You are going to go into there. You, sir, are going to swap with one of these guys and yeah you i think it was you baleos wasn't it you were a confident commander yes you are okay you are going to come and lead some men and we'll send you to there for now i know you've got nine management but that with the gold mines there you should make a decent amount of money anyway so let's get all of these sort of celtic heavy swordsmen together because they are the best units we do have um, and then let's see what else we can get. I mean, we need the cavalry. Okay, apparently we can't move. That's fine. We might as well just take everything here then. And, uh, yeah. Come forward. Attack them. Okay. Oh, dear. Well. Can we fight that? Probably not. But with both armies, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Bit strange of a sort of thing there. Well, let's just go for this. Let's also resolve 360. That seems insane, honestly. And then let's build the wall there. Wait, so they've got like... So they've got two like units there. Two like full stacks and they're doing nothing with them. 
Classic Rome. Classic Rome, huh? Um, but yeah, Atria. I mean, I'm happy to like lose an army defending Atria, honestly. Don't think that'd be too bad. Um, it is just to really hold them off in the north. Uh, so another town has expanded. So we need to remember that for next time. And then, yeah, we will have another battle very soon, guys. We're just obviously continuing to build up. We are at the point now where, you know, uh, organizing everything takes so long. Uh, but let's end the turn there anyway. And then we probably will have a battle, at least a battle against Macedon. Although, we forgot about this army. <laughs> um, not really much I can do here. Any garrison troops anywhere? That's the problem. Uh, well, we'll have to leave someone behind from here. Who do we leave behind? Probably like the 26 Celtic Light Cavalry. They are not excellent. And we'll go and attack Scoopy. Oh, apparently we could just attack Scoopy. Let's just do that. There we go. Like I say, these small sieges, guys, not going to be played. I know I've said that many times, but uh, yeah, there is no point. Let's go for Stoby then next. And then we'll be on to Macedon. Let's make sure we repair the walls there. Uh, what is that? Dimos and Phobos. Okay, I'm happy to accept that. Anyway, let's... Uh, oh, another town has grown as well. So we are getting to that tip over point. <laughs> but anyway, let's end the turn there, guys. And let's see what happens. And the Antigonids have actually attacked my horse archer army. Not sure that's the best idea, my friends. They do have a lot of cavalry, but it's all heavy cavalry. So... Yeah, let's, uh, let's go. Horse archers on the march, my friends. Let's go. Right then, boys. Here we go. Horse archer time. Main thing is, is to be slightly worried by the, uh, by the cavalry. So we want to kind of focus on them. I'm not too bothered about the Chalk Speeders because they should never catch us. Hopefully our guys have good stamina. They do. So, yeah. This is going to be interesting. We'll uh, we'll see what we can do here. We'll see what we can do. Let's speed it up for now. And then you guys should probably start coming across somewhat. We're going to do a lot of friendly fire here, guys. But honestly, I'm not bothered about that. It doesn't really, as you can see, already doing friendly fire. It's because they're all bunched together. Now, I don't like to spread them out because then they just become a bit too spread out, I tend to find. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's move back here. It looks like their general's getting absolutely shredded there. Very nice. Looks like all of their infantry are going to come this side. So, I like to kind of run them around in circles. That tends to be um, quite a good little tactic. Here we go. Is this the Foroy are coming? Get over there, guys. Get over there. Guys, stop stopping! But they honestly, it's just imbecilic sometimes. Like, why do you stop when I tell you what to do? Just do it. <laughs> if these guys get caught by Zistaphoroi, I am not going to be happy because Zistaphoroi are not faster than the horse archers. Well, here we go, guys. We are just completely trashing them. That is the one good thing um, about this. What is that? That's Southern Illyrian Spearmen. I think we'll be okay against them. So, yeah, we just need to keep on uh, retreating. These guys, apparently, when I put them on skirmish mode, watch this. He wants to go over there. That's not... No, 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 no. Just run away from them. <laughs> That's just so stupid. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, but these guys are all on skirmish mode as well. So we need to remove that at some point. Let's go. I mean, how many have we killed so far? We've killed nearly half of them. And we've killed most of their cavalry now. So, yeah. This is going to be uh, pretty nice for us, I think. Look at this. How is this a 4 a catching? We're on the same amount. Oh, no. They are tired, to be fair. Just keep coming. Just keep coming. What's going on up here? Not much, really. They did manage to charge with one of their generals. But, um, yeah. Let's go kill that phalangite. Here we go. Coming around this way. You guys coming this way, too. There we go. So, yeah. It is just basically just moving them around, really. <laughs> moving them around a little bit. Well, here we go. Zistafora is somehow able to, like, catch up with us now again. So, yeah. <laughs> we are shredding them, though. That is that is the one good thing here. So, yeah. We, we've, we've absolutely shredded a lot of these units, which is absolutely fantastic. Here we go. More and more units getting shredded. Like, 
How much have they lost now? It's still apparently even. They've got 30% of their troops left, guys. Which is just insane. We've got hardly any troops left. And these guys can now start firing on these guys from the back. That's going to help out a lot. And look, the Chalk Speeder is just getting shredded. It's like Gatling Gun. Come on, boys. Fire. Let's see this. Look at that. Here it comes. <laughs> Here it comes. Not doing a huge amount of damage per volley, but that's not too bad. It's mainly when they turn around that we tend to do a lot of damage. Here they come. So, yeah, hopefully we can get someone in behind them to turn them around, and then we'll shoot them in the back with our big units. As you can see, they've already turned, so that is good for us. Let's go. Well, there we go. We've, we've managed to route everyone, guys. We did lose quite a few troops. A lot of it due to friendly fire, of course. Um, but yeah, apart from that, decent battle. Decent battle and just showing again how powerful the horse archers can be. I mean, look at that. Very nice indeed. I mean, yeah, 137 they killed. So yeah, pretty nice. Lots of casualties. Well done, my friends. Well done. And we actually got a man of the hour for that, which... Um, I don't think it's going to accept because it's going through the turn. But that'll be quite nice if we do manage to get that. And Pionia wants to become a protectorate. If we give them Scoopy and Bylazora, I mean, what's stopping them cancelling that again? That's the only thing. Um, but it is a nice buffer state and it will allow uh, our army over here to come back round and attack Macedon and, and fight off Macedon. So honestly... I think this is a good deal. Let's let's oh, accept thanks. that. And Sparta wants an alliance for a nominal payment. Absolutely. Oh, Thank you, my friends. And Syracuse wants a ceasefire straight away. They saw our army coming and they're... <laughs> yep, yep. Oh, okay. Thanks. thanks, Syracuse. Well, let's accept this man of the hour. There we go. That will allow our troops to move a lot quicker. I am thinking about maybe sort of consolidating some of these boys. So let's see... How much we can sort of spread around. There we go. And then one of these guys into there, into there, into there. And then what do we have? We've got these three units, which could do with retraining. And they can bring that next horse archer along too. So there we go. I think that's the best thing we can do. Uh, Civil Disorder in Capua. That's kind of expected. And Singwidunum, very, very unhappy. I thought we had a general in there, did we not? No. Well, what I'm thinking, let's just get a mercenary for the time being. Can't wait two turns if it's that upset. Any mercenaries around? Here we go. Let's just get two of the cheaper ones. Uh, I mean, it's not cheap, but uh, yeah. <laughs> that should be enough. There we go. 74%. Still not very high, though. And, of course, Rome sieging down a couple of settlements. Uh, Ateste has grown now. Fantastic. Let's get that in there. Uh, Neviodanum as well. And then did we get Pharos? Did we manage to do Pharos? We did. Fantastic. Good, 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 good. We are the most advanced faction, apparently. So what is everyone else doing? Because we have had no population growth <laughs> for so, so long. Um, let's have a look at this recruitment three. Okay, it doesn't really look like we have too many sort of troops for those boys so yeah let's let's leave that for now uh, anything else of real interest agronentum has got to level two recruitment that allows us now to get equites oh baby let's go for that we definitely want some equites let's go for level three recruitment here and um let's knock these guys back and then just go for maleventum should be quicker than their sieges syracuse again has a uh, sort of gone neutral to us so let's just uh, go for the siege up here rather than attacking Syracuse you guys can come up as garrison troops too and there we go we've got these two units I think we did pretty much destroy the Macedonians over there so let's go for killing more Macedonians what do we have nine so we need 11 troops that's four um, then we've got these boys and more Thurioforoi there we go. I mean, I don't think we want Epibartai in that army, really, do we? Like, not sure there's any need. I could have two generals, though. I wouldn't mind two generals. Some actual sort of cavalry. Um, and let's also sort those boys. Hmm. What do they have? Again, that's not a great army. That's a better army. 
So, yeah, let's try and fight them off and take some of this land back. First things first, though, let's just make sure we're doing all the right stuff with our ships and all that sort of thing. Uh, well, what do you have in this army? You've got these guys that are... Heart. One of you is AOR, the rest are not. I think the best thing is just to, to get dropped off here, honestly. And then we can sort it out. You guys are going to go to Ryzon. You are going to go to Dawason. Let's have a look at the rest of this army. Um, those Hastati can go wherever. You guys just go to Ryzon as well. Get some armor upgrades. You are going to Ryzon too. You are a Northern Illyrian Cavalry, so I don't even think we can retrain you in Dawson, can we? Nope, that's fine then. Uh, you guys are going to rise on too. Uh, and then Greek troops, Epibartai, need to go up here, which they'll go with a general, so we can move a lot faster. There we go. And then you guys are going into Epidauros. So, yeah, bit complicated, honestly, but... Uh, <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> we'll be able to sort it out. And they didn't actually attack Atria with this army. Fair play. Well done, Rome. Doing a great job. Well done. Keep it going. <laughs> um, yeah. Fantastic. Right then. Uh, let, us, let us make sure we are building down in these regions. So let's repair that. Let's get the sewers there. And then in Capua. I think Capua would be the best for a recruitment hub. Over here, let's go for level 2. And that is most of our money gone. Let's we get sort of Dionysus. There we go. Nice and cheap. You're building. Let's get trying to Zoe. Probably not. Don't really need that. Uh, unless we get trying to Rodon. Nah, that's pointless. Yeah. I think we're in a good position, guys. Let's fight Macedon again. Here we go. Oh, it's all Chalcospeda, Zistaphore, and Generals now. So, I'm going to try and take out the Zistaphorian generals with my general. And then the horse archers can just do whatever they want. These guys are literally there just to hold the Chalka Speeders while we get behind them. So, let's go. Well, here we go, guys. They are kind of hugboxing, which is kind of funny. Um, and we're just basically going to try and hold them with our sort of infantry line. And then we're going to spring the horse archers into action after that. That's going to be the main thing. We just need to get experience with these troops because the more experience they have, the more powerful they are going to be. Uh, if these guys can, like, fire their javis into them, that would be amazing. I just want them to stand there, fire their javis. So let's speed that up. Here we go. Let's see how many javis we can get in them. Go on, boys. Fire, fire, fire. Everyone fire. Fire. Keep firing. More, 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 more. More. More firing. More firing. There we go. Let's keep on going with that. And then horse archers, we're going to bring you around here to deal with those boys. These guys, yeah, let's get them in there as sort of a uh, stopgap. Okay, it looks like they're going to waste their Zistaphoroi on charging us, which... Good idea, my friends. Good idea. <laughs> do that. Please do that. Please do that. And then we should absolutely shred them now with our horse archers here. Come on. Kill those Zistaphorite. Kill them. Oh, look at that. There we go. The Gatling gun has started, my friends. The Gatling gun has started. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. There we go. And these guys are just still firing their javis. Not many have javis left, but that's fine. Like I say, these guys are just here to um, hold these boys while we deal with their cavalry. There we go. Are they withdrawing? Are they withdrawing? Yes, they are. Okay. I, I don't... I honestly don't mind that. I honestly don't mind that. We'll chase them while they withdraw a little bit. And then these guys can get around. Are they withdrawing as well? Yeah, literally everyone is withdrawing. So, yeah, that's that's fine. And with the rest of them, I'm not going to charge the Chalka Speeders. We'll lose too many men. But we're just going to stand here and just fire at them. Should kill enough of them for it to be significant. There we go. Killed a lot of them now. Very good. Very good. Well, here comes another Chalka Speeders, though. Let's uh, get over this way. And then we're going to try and fire into the back of this one. Let's see how much damage we can do here. Oh, my God. One, one volley was enough. There we go. 
I mean, horse archers, man, it's just it's just fun, isn't it? It really is just fun. I should have chased them down, but I forgot. But anyway, Tenez, get out of here. Well, on to the next Antigonid army. I don't think we can actually attack them this turn, but that should hold them for a turn. They're actually still attacking the Epirotes. Really don't mind that. Waste some of your troops against the Epirotes. What are we going to do with this army, then? I mean, we could just go and sack Pella. Should we just do that for the boys? Let's just do that for the boys. There's no one defending Pella. <laughs> Let's just destroy Pella for the boys. Let's go. Um, everyone else, I think, is moved as much as possible. And we spent all our money. So, end turn. Let's see if they do come and defend Pella. But um, Pella's only a minor city. Really, man? I don't have much. Like, how have you not grown these settlements larger, bro? But anyway, let's end the turn there, guys. Um, the Illyrians want an alliance, and they're going to attack the Antigonids, apparently. Oh, yeah, sorry. we have zero relationship, so I'm, I'm sure that's going to last. <laughs> well, the Antigonids didn't really do much that turn. What do they have as that second unit? Okay, it's just a, it's just a, uh, a horsey. Um, yeah, let's exterminate. And uh, yeah, sorry, Pella, but uh, you're not going to be a great city anymore, my friends. <laughs> How do you like that, Antigonids? That's what you get for attacking me. I was your ally, you know. I literally was your ally. And uh, you decided to do something stupid like what you've done. We don't need grain imports here, do we? Highways we can't destroy. Uh, Execution Square probably used a lot before we actually destroyed it now. And there we go. Signed to Zeus. Who's Zeus? And uh, Artemis. There we go. Very nice. That's <laughs> Look at the amount of money we've got from that. That's pretty insane. Um, now we've got to decide what do we actually want to do with this army. Because I do want to be sensible with the rest of it and actually take some land. It wouldn't make sense to take this land just in the middle though. So I think what we'll try and do is try and join up our lands here. So let's go through these areas though. Because Edessa, Botisha, Baroya, all of that. They all have gold mines I believe. Bokeria especially. So, or mines at least. Um, problem is, I don't like the fact they have three units in every settlement besieging. So let's go for that. Okay, yeah, they do have a Chalk Speeders in there. That is very annoying because in um, Siege Battles, guys, on Auto Resolve, we'll probably lose like 7,000 men because the Auto Resolve just thinks that a single Chalk Speeders can hold off literally the whole world. Um, but yeah, let's go for... We've got a lot of money, so we're going to do some nice building. We actually got, it, got a Walls now, which is very good. We will think about attacking that army at some point. These ones, again, like I say, guys, auto-resolve. 120, not bad at all. We are close to Rome now. That is something that is... I mean, do we just go for the mad dash for Rome? Hmm, I feel like we still need some in the east. 732 men died in that siege. Really? Well, that's very annoying. We're going to have to go to there with you then and take you back for retraining. Um, yeah, let's go for Fragele. They've got a Triarii too. So let's get these guys in there. They're actually happy straight away. Let's get you guys in there. Are you happy? You actually are. Fantastic. And yeah, everything looks good in here. Let's repair. What about in here? Yep, everything good as well. And I think we'll go for some sewers for that happiness and population growth. And then you guys can keep coming up. We'll come over this way. There we go. Yeah, we're, we're in a good spot against Rome. They're, they're really not putting up much resistance, are they? Pluriopolis. Here we go. We can upgrade you now. Fantastic. Very nice. And then Idaba. How are we doing? Okay, we got our four more horse archers. So, yeah, let's bring them back down. We're going to attack one of those very soon. But first of all, let's make sure we are building all down here in our new Italian lands. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll, I will destroy some of these uh, military buildings between episodes, guys. I'm not going to do it in episode. Um, 
so yeah, between episodes, we will try and destroy some of these buildings and see what we can do about gaining some extra money. Uh, we could go for the Bardic Circle here, which is fantastic. 8% population growth there. Wow. That's pretty darn good. Yeah, you are the two we've just taken. Kapua, you're building that. Okay, good. I think we're building everywhere. Fantastic. So then let's decide what we're going to build elsewhere. Hmm. You guys as well need to all go back for your retraining. Hopefully this doesn't stop the building. Shit, it stopped the building. Ah, oh, no. Oh, that was two turns in as well. Oh, dear. That was a bit of a mistake. But oh, well. These guys in Dawasana are already, already repaired apart from you. So let's go for you. Good. Right then. Um, and what do we want to build? We want to make sure we are building in this area constantly, which we still are. Fantastic. So let's just give a few different like little buildings out around here. Maybe Atria would be a good one. Okay, you're getting sewers. Maybe some of these ones that haven't ever really been touched by me around history yet. Anything worth building. All right, let's just go to the list then. Let's go from the bottom. Yeah, Pella, we don't care about. Metapontum wasn't actually building, so let's go for that in Metapontum. Scarabantia, let's go for that. Taraskium, that. These ones, probably the tavern. And then over here, the tavern as well. Curricum, nothing worth it there. Potovio, nothing again. Sewers over there. Plarence, uh, Sinites, let's leave that. Uh, paved roads, no. Yeah. A lot of these, like I say, until they get to city, it's just not really worth building anything. Um, Scardona, let's go for the ship, right? That's basically all the rest of our money. Right then, what do we want to, uh, who do we want to attack here? I mean, we could just ignore them. I think... Uh, no, I don't know. I think we just go for the attack here. This unit, this army doesn't actually have many Chalcospedas, which is amazing. Also, not much Cav. So, this should be an absolute rout, my friends. Let's go. And here we go, guys. Exactly the same thing that we were going to do before. Apparently, we can't see them yet, so they must be over this hill. Uh, oh, no. They're all the way down there. Why are you down there, bro? Why? Uh, well, it doesn't really matter, so uh, let's go. Honestly, I'm surprised they haven't uh, run away. <laughs> Here they come, though, with some Uzonoi, which is not, you know, the greatest unit that they could get. Also, we have this nice hill now that we can fire down on from. So we are just going to, like, completely cut them off from ever touching our horse archers, if possible. And we're going to send our horse archers up the hill there. So let's go, boys. Are they withdrawing? No, 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 no. They're not withdrawing, which is good. Let's just carry on through these boys. Hopefully the Uzona runs away. There we go. That's what we like to see, boys. Straight up there. How are we looking in terms of being able to fire now? We're actually pretty darn good. So uh, let's go. Loads of them can actually fire. Good, good, good. There we go. Now we should be able to f throw a load of javies. If we could just get a little bit closer, we should be able to fire javies into the... Uh, Chalka Speeders, which is what we want. And here we go with our horse archers. Should be able to fire down. Ideally, I want them to fire at the 304 cavalry, but at the minute, we'll just leave them on fire at will, seeing as we have so many of them. Uh, so they can kind of fire at what they want. Looks like they're firing mainly at the 304 Roy. That is no problem. Here we go. And these guys should be able to fire their javies now. Very good. Oh, there we go with the 304 Roy getting absolutely shredded. Come on, a few more volleys, my friends. A few more volleys. And what we'll probably do is just charge them with our general in a second. Um, but there we go. See if we can come around this way maybe slightly more. And let's just go for a cheeky charge. Uh, rally the men, of course, so our general doesn't die. So let's get into them. This mercenary 304. You can see they're just getting shredded. Just getting absolutely shredded here. Let's try and engage these boys if we can. You guys... 
You guys are going to go round them. You guys are going to come forward. Okay, there we go. That's one Thurio Foroy dead. Let's uh, see if we can get the cavalry now. Here we go. Just get out of there, guys. Get out. We don't really need to fight you. Here we go. What is that? Just a Prodromoy. Okay, I will take that. We should still beat the Prodromoy even with our low numbers. There we go. Oh, my God. Absolutely shredding them. Keep on pushing archers. Our horse archers, man, are just insane, aren't they? They're just so good. So, so good. There's their general. Don't really care about him. Kletos. Kletos the loser. Ha ha. Absolutely ruined him, of course. There we go. Let's go with our general now. Probably charge into that Thurio 4, right? Agrianian archers. Poor boys. Poor boys. Let's uh, fire at the Thurio 4, right? Cavalry here. We go. You guys want to fight? That's fine. Oh, they broke. They broke our spearmen there somehow. Somehow they broke our spearmen. Let's uh, turn them all off fire and we're just going to charge, boys. We're just going to do the cheekiest charge of them all. Cheeky charge. Let's go. Horse archers. They shouldn't be too tired because they haven't done much running, really. Uh, they've been stood still for a lot of this. Let's go in the back of here. This should just be overwhelming numbers now. So we should be able to just break these guys by overwhelming numbers. Because look at the amount. Like, imagine this horde of horsemen just coming towards you. You'd be so scared, wouldn't you? <laughs> right, here we go. So they are not firing still. Um, and then the general, let's get you out too. Come on, boys. I know there's a lot of people around that you want to chase down. But, um, yeah, honestly, though, let's uh, just stand here and we'll just fire. So just get out there, guys. And uh, where's the general? Generals, come on. Where are you? I cannot see you. You can chase down the guys. These guys, let's speed them up slightly. And then we're going to just fire. Okay, let's kill the general with those two. The rest of you boys, though, I want you to just fire in the back of these Chalka Speeders. You should absolutely be able to shred them here. Don't mind a bit of friendly fire, honestly. Okay, there we go. Chase him down. Chase him down. There we go. How are we doing? They're firing at the wrong people, guys. I told you to fire at them. Can you fire at them? Nope, you're still firing at them. Fire at them. Please, <laughs> do as I tell you. It does help. It does honestly help. Then these guys can get there. Are they firing? Or do they not want to fire because of the, uh, the guys in the way? I think they won't want to fire. Yeah, not many arrows there, is there? Oh, there's a few. There's a few. Ah, just stick them on fire at will. It's fine. It's fine. Don't think there's much left, really, of the army. <laughs> I think this is a victory, guys. <laughs> and there goes one of the units breaking anyway. Well, there we go. Another glorious victory for us. We lost 291, killed 985. I think a pretty decent result, nonetheless. The horse archers, again, doing a large bulk of the fighting. But, uh, yeah, Thurio Foroy doing all right as well. So, uh, a decent little result. In fact, the Thurio Foroy, ooh, not quite the MVP. Very close to being the MVP. The second most for that Thurio Foroy. Very nice indeed. There we go. They did survive. Cleton did survive. That will allow us to take this area in a drawout battle. But I think we're going to leave that for next time, guys. Um, my voice is <laughs> starting to go. <laughs> my throat is pretty sore now. So, um, yeah. We are going to probably leave that to next time. So thank you very much for watching. It has been a pleasure. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.